okay. Sometimes when we go for uh, events, my going off could be telling us that the time is up. So I need somebody to let me know if that is what it meant. Okay, that's it. Thank you. All right, so um, can you move me now on to the next slide? And let me finish my story. So here is this. Purpose is not static. And it is not a destination. Purpose is not where you are going. Purpose is a journey. All right? And I tell you this. The degree of your growth determines the magnitude of your purpose. The degree of your growth determines the magnitude of your purpose. For you that you think that your purpose is probably to be the finance minister in Africa, I tell you, in, in Nigeria, I tell you it means that is the scope of your knowledge. That is the scope of your exposure. If you dig a little bit deeper, you will see something bigger than that. Are we good? All right. So your level of growth and exposure determines the scope of your purpose. So finally, let me round off with this. If there is anything you will take home from what I've said, apart from the anger I've poured into you, all right, what I need you to take home is this. If you are here, decide to be good at something. All right? That's one. Decide to be good at something. Then number two, decide to be very good at that thing. Then number three, decide to be known as being good at that thing. Revenue does not come by being good at something. It comes by being known to be good at that thing. Thank you. For Baba Tunde Abiodun, please keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Thank you so much. I guess uh, we guys have learned so much. I've learned so much here, but I have just few written down. Quality service we should serve. There are some people that they can't um, serve their mates. Am I right? Am yeah, I communicating? Absolutely right. Okay. You're absolutely right. There are times that okay, maybe because of the the line of my job, okay. I'm a director. So there are times that I have to direct people that are older than me or people yeah. that are like... Your they age think mates. They, or let me say they think that they have reached somewhere they have not got into. Maybe they have. Okay. And then you will see them doing... What do you mean by she do that? They are not ready. Fine. They are right, not ready. Like, you are not ready. Check those people 10 years to come. <clears throat> yeah. And there is one thing he said. He said, do something. One, be good at it. Two, be very good at it. And three, be known to be good at it. it there is this quote that has been misunderstood by a lot okay. and that's the jack of all trade master of none. of none do you know that the full quote is master of trade must um, excuse me jack a uh, master of all trade right yes master of none but eh? please say it again Exactly, but better than the master of all. Because when you have a knowledge about so many things, just knowledge about this, knowledge about this, knowledge about this, knowledge about this, you know, you'll be knowledgeable about so many things. And you'll be better than what, somebody that just focused on this thing and was just on it and became very, very good at it. Because there are times that before they actually call that person for that same thing, they will call you because they know that you are good at this. But you're also good at so many other things yeah. that they need you for. If you're actually good at what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. So it's also you also talk about um, nurturing and um, identify and nurturing. Um, when you talk about nurturing, sir, if I'm not wrong, sir, I think we have more of consistency when you talk about nurturing. And um, today, we are glad to... Um, we, we brought people in here that they've been good with consistency. Yes. And they've been going places with consistency. Do you know one of the hardest things in life, sir, if I'm not wrong, sir, is consistency. Right. Um, um, we are seated here. Um, our professor came in. For yes. her to be a professor here, Professor Memo, consistency brought her this far. A round of applause. A round of applause. Yeah. Please. And we have our one and only Ipera Cakes, DMH herself. Um, consistency brought her this far. She's very big and well known in Abekuta. You guys should be proud of your own because. Um, um, these are, she's a Funabite. She's one of these products. And you should believe in yourself. Um, take note of everything that is going on here. She started like you two here. And I'm sure she attended events like this that inspired her to be where she is right now. 
you have no idea places she goes to, what she does, you need to follow her on IG. She be you drop it before you go. You drop your IG and okay. Uh, why why the speaker was here? Our professor came in. A round of applause for our professor, Professor Omemu herself, and as well as um um Adiola Akin Riola. Okay, yes, DMH. DMH. We know her as DMH. A round of applause for her, Imperial Kicks at Belkuta. And right now, we mm -hmm. also have one and only. One and only. Mm -hmm. The person that is going to rain pop off on all of us. Today. All of us. Please add Samosatu mm -hmm. and Spring Grow. We have God set Osas in yes. the field. Osas has been good with consistency. Yeah, he has been Talking good. about me standing here is one I would of like, like the inspiration. Four, four Samosa and 16 Spring Grows. Yes. Thank um, you. I like it being very well. Ah, yes. It be a latter. Stop now. Ah. You are going to make me hungry. Kai, if you give it to us. <laughs> so, I'm, Osas I'm has been very fighting. good. He, he hosts events. Osas has been consistent. See, let me tell you something. If there's anybody that carries his um, um, business on his head, like Gala on the road, in Lagos Road, is Osas. Do you know what it, what it takes for you to, to shout, Papa of Wao? Like consistency. Let me tell you something. If Osas do not have a car today, he choose not to have a car. That is it. Let's give yes, no cap, no cap. So you he gets you much in here. No cap. No cap. Ah, you, you don't know the extent. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Are, you, are, you, are you playing? Shem Ben. Before we go any further, do yeah. we have any question for Baba Tunde Abiodun? Yeah. And also for Mr. Daniel, if we have any question. Any questions? They are in trouble. So let's go. Adieu. I'll come here. Just one person uh, so we don't keep them. Yes, for them to tell us probably what they've learned so far um, today. So, anyone, what did you get when um, Mr. Daniel was talking, or our last speaker that just concluded his speech? You can't tell me you have nothing, oh, because today we've come to learn. Exactly. Thank you. Um, Your name, please. Okay, uh, my name is Ugunko Yabisola. Okay. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I was not here, I was outside when came on stage but then when i came i i i learned of course there was a something. lot yeah mm -hmm. i learned something from him yeah he said something about um nature, nurture and um you are stealing from my point stop it <laughs> he said some things after that one <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so uh like i was saying he said something about us being like we we, we have to like the, the difference between knowledge and information Knowledge is when you know something, and information makes you improve. Yeah. And I actually do like that. Actually, yeah, I I learned something from that. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. So, so how can we so get much. informed? Like pl places like where we are today, we get information. information yes. And I'm still angry at those people that didn't tell their friend because you didn't pass the information for them to be here to get what you are getting today. And trust me, what you will get here today, you get it for a lifetime. A round of applause for yourself, please. Okay, um, we are going to be having, so that it's not be as if the only thing you are sitting down here is perspire to acquire to require to desire. We are going to be having a little bit of love. And know this and know it. Funab, no, Yusuf, you already know. Funab is breeding talent. No, we've breeded and we are still breeding. You get it. Continuous breed, sorry, not they. We, ah, I used yeah, to get, we, forget I'm a Funab. Stop it. They have Breathe, sorry, we have breathed. Mm -hmm. We are still breathing. Mm -hmm. And we will still continue breathing. Exactly. Yeah. So one of the talents that FUNAB is presently breathing is going to come on this stage. Do I have funny mouth in the house? Funny mouth. Funny mouth. Is it Do in I the have house? Funny mouth in the house. Is it in the house? Okay. If he's not around, maybe he's on his way. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so... We are going to have a discussion. Dis oh, that is you? You should have signified. Yeah, signify. Uncle. Please, can we have funny mouth in the house? They just said something now that if they call an engineer, you'd now raise up your hand. I'd not, you were never, I'd not say it to Uncle, I'd not say what you said to I'd not say what you said to If you come here and mess up, 
No, now stop it. We must laugh. Me, I'm already laughing already. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for the mouth. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Wow, I've learned a lot from this program. I've learned a lot. Wow. All right, so I'm loving this gathering. Please, you all put in a cigarette for yourself. Thank you for showing up. Thank you very much. All right, so I won't, I won't waste much of your time. All right, so um, I'm going to lie to you. My name is Funny Mouth. I'm an upcoming stand-up comedian. I like to emphasize on that word, upcoming. So in case I crack joke, you don't laugh. Uh -huh, you know that I said upcoming. Now, to be sincere with you guys, when I was young, I never wanted to do comedy. Like, like, imagine firstborn, just come outside, I want to be a comedian. It's not normal. I'm a firstborn, I'm just wasting. So I just want to do it. I never planned to do comedy. When I was in primary school, I wanted to be a pilot. My mom knows, my dad knows, my, my friends know. They said, if you want to become a pilot, you must be very good in mathematics, good in physics. Then, I was very good in mathematics. Under tests and units, I was the best. So, it got to a point that when I got to GSS1, I started seeing questions like, if X is equal to Y, corresponding with the bearing and distance of the magnitude now, now then I know I'd be comedian. Because the pressure was just too much. Don't put pressure on yourself, fool. Don't put pressure on yourself. Some of you, you have phones. Your smartphones can take you up. But once you have phone like this, all these boys, potty beds, that's very bad. Every time you stake, 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 look at you, your life is at stake already. Please, when you have phone, mingle with people like this, mingle with people like this, get all this kind of innovative experience. All right? It's not good, though. Osas. Osas, please don't bend your head. Please let me call him. Please, I'll come on stage. Please, can we put an Instagram for him as he's coming on stage? Come on stage, yeah. Just come, just come. Osas is a very nice person, though. Please, come on stage. Don't let me wait for you. I beg. Please, come on stage. Today, pop off, go show. Just come on stage. Ah, Abba. Come on stage. Let's just put an Instagram for him again. Thank you very much. Oh God, we're done. All right, how many of us here love Osas? Who be who? Who be dog? <laughs> if you love Osas, please put your Instagram for him. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. See, uh, what's in about Osas? Osas has done a lot of things. Then, 2014, I had no, I had no money on me. I was squatting with Osas, 2014. Today, this 2024, Osas is squatting with me now. He's my, he's my helper. He's my are you here? Are you here? He's my helper. All right. So, then, when Osas did do this pop of all this business, at the time, on that big Joshua D. Pop of wow, pop of wow. I will look at Osas, what is all this? So, I went to, uh, yeah, now let's come down. Let's look for one job that we're going to do. So, initially, he said we should do Yahoo. We should go into Yahoo. And I was like, ah, no, my mom did not train me to do like this. But he convinced me one way or the other. So I said, okay, let's do this, let's do, let's do, um, this Yahoo. So we went to Lagos to buy a laptop. Then we came back to Abeguta. Then we were staying in the same hostel. So when we came back to Abeguta, we logged in on, on our laptop. They already dropped update for us already. So we were to bomb Facebook. Hey. <laughs> Talk again. I'm a child of God. <laughs> so we were to bomb Facebook. They already drop update for us already. So on the Facebook, I be woman for that Facebook. So two weeks, I don't follow in both talk already. Two weeks, me and in both on the chat. Now in the talk, say one year my voice. So as in both talk, say one year my voice. Now I call my girlfriend. See my girlfriend go follow in both talk. Now I call to my girlfriend, which she go tell you in both. Now I can't come up for the room, so I will stop them. So I was on the passage. My girlfriend call you in both. Now sans phone for the other room. Now ring. Ha. I said, what a coincidence. We are not saying everything does scatter. Now, as Osa has speak up, Osa has come change for, you can't change what they use for now. As my baby, they talk, hello, they talk, hello, how are you doing, how are you doing? Ah, ah, what did they swap? Now, open Osa's door, now ask him. I said, Osa, now you be in my coffee. We are not saying everything does finish. Now, when they ask me the same question, I say, funny mouth. I say, eh, this is Naib Banita Williams. Thank you very much. My name is Funny Mouse. Please, just pay attention to everything everybody will be saying. Thank you very much, Osas. Thank you. That is very funny. A round of applause for Funny Mouth, please. Thank you. Osas, you don't suffer. 
In fact, it's not easy. I am still aspiring and inspiring that somebody will still bring him up here and tell him to be coughing out puff puff. Definitely. I mean, I'm still waiting for the arrival of EFTA because when that combination comes with the uh, combination with DMH, the three of them, I don't want to say they'll start creating nuisance, but then you know what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Thank you so much, guys. Um, um, so in between, somebody said um, they have a question. Uh, excuse for... me, before the person that asked question. Okay. Apologies. I did not remember. We did not remember to. We did not. Apology. Yeah. To recognize the presence of, of Olubum of Faith. Olubum yes. of Faith is in the house. Yes, Ever so beautiful. Yeah, Jesus. very, very, very beautiful. So good. She, yes. will, she will come on this stage and you people will realize what I'm saying. It's as if it's painting. All no, she's like, already looking like what she's into. You get it. And so, you know, it's, it's like when, when you get to the uh, is it museum that is to put painting? No, art gallery. Yeah. You will not be looking at it like wow. Yeah. Look at the painter. Stroke, she's an art brush herself. stroke. Yeah. She's an art yeah. herself. She's that she pretty. Please, a round of applause for her. Guess you guys again. can't wait to get um, a lot from um, so everybody okay, seated right here. So um, let us get the question. This is for uh, Mr. Babatunde Abiodun, please. Thank you. You said when we are reaching, we should think of what the right. Sorry, you said when we are reading, we should think of what the writer has read to get the knowledge he or she has, and we should try to get the same information. So how do we do that? Yes, yes that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, a simple way to do that is by asking questions. All right. Now, um, so let me explain. You know, a, a lot of us, when we read or when we see a quote, we just accept the quote uh, verbatim. Like, you just see a quote, you see an article, and then you agree with everything inside the article, you agree with everything inside the book. All right. Now, what you're supposed to do many times when you're reading is to ask questions. Why is this thing this thing? Now, because a lot of the time, the secret is in the why, not exactly in the what. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So we get to ask questions like, why is, it, why is this person saying this thing? All right? Is this particular thing applicable where I am? Is it applicable uh, if I get elsewhere? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. You see, uh, a lot of the time, if you go and find out the secret of uh, great people, one of the things you will find is their desire to ask questions. Because the answers you are looking for may not necessarily be in what you are reading, but it will be in the questions you are asking. All right? So when you are reading, take time to also ask questions. Challenge what you are reading. Do we get what I'm saying? Challenge what you are reading. Ask if this thing is applicable. Ask if this thing is just theoretical or is something that can really give you the results you are looking for. I hope you get what I'm saying. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much, sir. Are able to answer your question? Whoever it is, the person is camera did you know shy, what? microphone shy, crowd lady, shy, you know and shy shy. Some motivators, uh, motivational speaker would come up stage and they will tell you that um, the first time I made my first million, <laughs> how did you? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Let me tell you something, guys. I'll be making my first million maybe tomorrow. Okay. No. I'll be making my first million tomorrow. Otio will be sending it to me. But when I come up stage, I won't tell you that. I made my first million as I a give away. Do you get that? I, I'm not going to tell you that. So how? You, it, you need to ask yourself, is this writer actually giving me what I want? Did he actually say puff puff to get his first million? Call Osas. Now Osas will tell you pain back that my first million was from puff puff and I pin. Do you get that? DMH will tell you that, yes, my first car was from my cake, from Imperial Cake. Do you understand? Those are the products we want. Not products that um, I made my first million and blah, 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 blah. So I think um, we were able to answer your question. When you are reading a book like that and the book is not straightforward enough, I guess you know how to um, drop the book and go to a book that would um, lead you in the path of righteousness. Exactly. Thank Just you. as her host was motivating us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another question came up. So I think I need to announce this. When we have another speaker or when our panel session is going on and you think you are shy, please put it in a paper or a piece of paper, excuse me, and give it to one of 
the volunteers. But we, not, we, we are not encouraging. Them. Yeah, we are not. We want you people to talk. Exactly. We, to, we are developing ourselves here. We want development. We want people to stand up to be able to face crowd to, to ask questions. Let's start from there. Enough of writing of paper. Please, we can do exactly. that. A round of applause for ourselves, please. Thank you. So let's indulge these people, shall okay. we? Okay. We have another question here. As an education educationist, with the way the education system is in Niger is in Nigeria, how are you motivated to continue doing what you're doing? Motivation. I'm sorry, this is the last question I'll be taking for now. Inspire us. Want to be right, inspired. Um, yeah, thank you so much. All right, um, let me also say this again. Many of us are not motivated. I need to let you know that we are just disciplined. Yeah. All right. What keeps you going is not motivation. It's the discipline to keep moving. All right. Now, if what you need is motivation, motivation is external, actually. All right. It's external. So what if that external source lives there? You will no longer be motivated. What keeps us going is the discipline now, that, that was built out of the desire to make a change. And so we are disciplined. Guys, if you think it is motivation that will land you to where you are going, my dear, it will not happen. You can ask everybody here. All right? Ask us, ask. See, I don't know um, much about the story of his business, but I'm very sure there will be times he had made a small shots before that he did not sell. Uh, there, will be, there, have, there must have been times that they made, probably made cake that the client did not collect. Uh, it is not the uh, motivation that keeps us going. All right? In the educational space, in fact, at the moment in Nigeria, if you look at it, there is probably nothing to keep you motivated in the educational space. All right? But what keeps us going is the desire to make the change. And that desire has spared discipline and consistency. Um, when we are growing, then we don't like books. Even till now, I don't like books. I don't. Not one bit. I have 400 levels. How did you come videos. about that? Ah. He's not motivated. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. When we are in secondary school, in primary school, then we don't like book. But when our parents come, read your book, and they are seated, we tend to pretend as if we are reading. And immediately they leave. We know what we do, right? We know what we do, right? Yes, we do. And I guess that alone answers the question. So when the um, force is not there, we should, we should see ourselves still doing what we want to do. And as well, we can as well build passion. So I guess you have passion for what you are doing. You, you, you have passion. So passion as well um, keeps us going. Before you start something, you ask yourself, do I have passion for this? I guess you are learning something here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so lastly, let me give you the opportunity because you are raising your hand. Kindly, you have a question. Briefly, please. One minute. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Akomolafe Gideon. From what our speaker have just said, I'm very, very happy because of he said about how the governments are not more ready for youths because of right in our primary school days, secondary school days, we all love education. We are more advanced in all what we are learning. But when we came to university, our minds opened. A lot of things you have to know, a lot of digital skills we can learn online, and a lot of things. Because of when I came to this university, I was very good in education line. I love reading, I love studying. But when I came to university, my mind changed. I saw a lot of innovations, a lot of ideas, a lot of things I can do on my own. So, and I divert my teacher from my education to digital skills because of um, into digital skills affiliate marketing. But when it was telling us that the government are not ready for uh -huh. us. So I want to ask, I want to, I want to let him to explain to me more that should we put all our, all our attention to education alone or we, move, or we should have other skills we should acquire to our knowledge. Because when I started um, the online skills, all my seniors, my second school teachers, my principal, they were DM me that, ah, please teach me these things, uh, put me through these things. So I want, I want him to help me to expand it on it more. Yes. All right. Um, fantastic question. Good one. Okay, so um, I'll just go this way. If we look at the world very well at the moment, you will see that the kind of innovation we are having is more like a composite innovation. I will explain. All right. Um, 
Okay, so it's more like a composite innovation. So what do I mean? How many of us are quite familiar with... Um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's use the popular OPE that is around. What you will see is that OPE is not new. Guys, FinTech is not new. All right? Um, let's use logistic for instance. It's not new. What they basically came to do is let's combine delivery and communication. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Now look at Uber, look at Boat and the likes. They did not bring something that is really new. What they have to just do is there is communication standing alone, there is transportation standing alone. Let's combine it together. You see, where we are going, all right, is that composite thing. So the skill you are learning is still going to need the knowledge you are acquiring in school. Do you get what I'm saying? All right? If everybody goes to learn digital skills, the time is coming, the people that will get the top jobs are people that studied medicine or nursing somewhere that are now using digital skills to promote medicine. You get? If you go and check all of these skills, they, are not stand, they can't stand alone. Data analytics cannot stand alone. All right? Web, website design cannot stand alone. Software development cannot stand alone. What they do is they bring innovation to an ex existing sector. And sectors are driven by knowledge. You get what I'm saying? So the things you are learning in school, they are also very important. As much as it is history, it is still important. You get what I'm saying? It is still super important because, uh, sorry, let me say this. You know, a lot of the times, many of us see opportunities, we don't recognize it. The reason many of us don't recognize the, um, opportunities is because we don't have the knowledge that can attract it. You get? So that's it. So um, I'll also say this finally. As much as we say that our governments are not doing well, many of us really do not have an idea of what the government is doing. It will shock many of us to know that on an average person on this campus, government probably pays more than 500,000 naira per semester or per month on each person. Right? Because add all your school fees together, it cannot pay the salary of all the professors in this school. It can't. So the government are doing so much for you. But what they are doing, you need to also complement it. All right? And if you are complementing it, don't focus on just skills or just di uh, on the, um, digital skills. Focus your energy on acquiring the knowledge you're learning in school and then add it with the skills because that's how you can complement it and be relevant later. Thank you so, so, so much, sir. Make so me with that make me harder, make me lose my breath, make me, make me, make me, make me, make me. So without further ado, let's go to our first panel session. Media. Olubu Morfif is a stellar and seasoned professional fashion designer, the founder and creative director of Olu Faith Couture and Fashion Institute. She ventured into fashion industry 2014. She hails from Ekiti State and was brought up in the city of Ibadan. Mrs. Olubumo holds a bachelor's degree in agricultural administration and master's degree in human resources management from Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta. Olubumo Faith is no stranger in the fashion business, having spent a decade in the wow. fashion industry. Her interest in fashion has been seen in her empowering and inspiring traits, which has earned her more than a fashion coach figure, but a role model to many. She single-handedly founded the Fashion Institute in her early undergraduate days. She was able to manage successfully throughout her academic journey as a student and over time, over 200 students have been trained and certified by our institute. She is happily married to our athrobe and a proud mother of a beautiful daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Olukumo Faith. is a skilled baker with passion for baking sight appealing and soul soothing cakes 
for all occasions. A love for art and satisfaction to people's tastes board. Made up and back on the journey of becoming a baker. And with over eight years experience in the journey of creative and innovative flavor combinations, our brand, the Imperial Cakes and more, have delivered happiness to thousands of customers. In addition to running our own baking company, DMH is committed and passionate towards her sharing knowledge and passion for baking with others who are willing to learn. She owns her own institute where she trains novins into professionals and also helps others who need to step up their craft with records of over 200 students trained. Apart from baking, DMH is a professional event anchor, OAP, and a serial entrepreneur who believes everyone can achieve whatever they set their minds to. With our unwavering commitment to excellence and relentless pursuit of baking innovation, DMH continues to inspire and delight cake lovers and lovers of great art around the world. DMH is a graduate of FUNAB. Ladies and gentlemen, with joy in our hearts and with a round of applause, please make welcome Adiola Adiriola. Saint Osas is an energetic and seasoned master of ceremony, an OAP, chef, and debater. A well sought after MC whose small shop business remains one of the top most talk about small shop businesses in Abelkuta, Osas shops. He got his first radio job at 16 and worked at Funab Radio as a student from his 200 level and also as an OAP hosting one of the top weekend shows, Weekend Palava, Africa Funa Conference 2024. Make your God consent for success. of Songota, Ogun State, with a passion for traveling, modeling, a fierce entrepreneurial spirit, and a drive for agriculture. Our entrepreneurial prowess includes our journey in the clothing line, nail world, higher world, and in summary, a good eye for creativity. Adebola Ogolua is an event host and has been in the business for over five years. She loves God, writing, visiting new places, historical places, good books, and good music. Ladies and gentlemen, with joy in our hearts and with a round of applause, please welcome our moderator, Adebola Ugolua. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Hello, fabulous Funabites. <laughs> All right, so DMH, Olufe, God sent Osas, welcome again. It's really a pleasure to have you all here. All right, so now let's get straight to business so as not to waste any more time. Today we'll be talking about a very special and very insightful topic titled Using Innovation to Create Unique and Marketable Products. I'll start by saying the little I know about innovation. Um, our speaker earlier spoke about innovation at several points. So I'll just say, to my understanding, innovation is creating new ways, new and better ways to do things. It is also about finding creative solutions and making improvements to things to make them more useful. That's what we know innovation to mean. So today we'll be trying our very best to break down this topic. The three of you especially. I'll just be trying to help out a little. <laughs> All right, you guys are looking really, really nice and gorgeous. And um, it's a pleasure to have 
you all are here like you guys are known names and known brands in FUNAB like I am odd to be the one taking this session so I'll ask a first question which I'll direct into like three of you just want to say like when you hear the topic using innovation to create unique and marketable products what comes to your mind using innovation you all have products you're into small shops you design clothes and you're into baking when you hear the word innovation, how do you think I relate it to your specific field or line? Like, what comes to your mind? Please go first. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. First off, my name is Akereola Adeola, DMH, daughter of the Most High. Please, your slide at whatever you are reading states Adeola. I don't like my name being misspelled. Please, innovation. No, we are not innovative. We have not innovated my name in any way. Akere Ola. Please, don't innovate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here one more time. Um, as soon as I came in Typhoon, I had this rush in my body because we did a lot here, but we'll go back to that. So, using innovation. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> we got to scatter this compound. Well. So using innovation to create a unique, unique, um, oh, sorry, hmm? is using innovation to create unique and marketable products. Good, marketable products. I, let me break it down, down, down to layman. It is using 2024 to do the same business they did in 1992 and they didn't make gain and that you are doing it better, wiser, smarter than it was. For example, my profession is as old as the days of the Bible, baking. If you read your Bible, you hear they bake, they break bread, they bake cakes. It's as old as the days of the Bible. But what's the difference between Mommy Shola that has a shop at Lantoro that does catering and baking and frying for puff and buns and has a show glass in front of her shop and she has been baking since 1998 and she has not gotten a car and DMH that started baking in 2014 has gotten properties and land. She beat is this same baking. Innovation, using it to create using it to make unique standard force. So that's what I'm saying that in 2024, doing the same thing in a different and a smarter way. That is just it for me. All right, thank you very much, DMH. I hope you are all listening. She said like a number of things already and she's still the first speaker. Innovation is basically doing something now that has been done before, but making sure it stays relevant and you can still make your own profits out of it. That is what she said. That's what I understood. So please, um, Olufate, please, over to you. Okay. Hello, everyone. So using innovation, like I would say, is very, very important to improve in whatsoever you are doing. Improvement. Because in these days, once you are out of ideas, once you are out of information, just forget anything you are doing. Before you open your eyes and you close it back, you notice that plenty of people are already at your back. Because what we are doing every day, we need to keep improving, learning. The day you stop learning in any line you have, you stop dying. I don't know probably because it is my line. I don't know about her. Every day new, new things comes up. Every day. So you can't say the way they are doing it in the olden days, you still want to sit back and be watching. Even we that we are boss, that we've been, we've been training for, for years. You still keep learning every day. So innovation has a lot of things to do with marketing, improving yourself. You can't stop, you can't stop improving, you can't stop learning if you want to grow, believe me. So in order to keep improving, in order to be learning, you have to discipline yourself. Okay, let me add this to it. To, to improve yourself, to gain more knowledge, is not just about mouth. It's not just about coming to places like this. It is easy to come out. It is easy to say it with mouth. But you have to act it. I always tell people, it is easy to say, I'll wake up tomorrow by 8, do this, do that. By the time you open your eyes, it's already 5 p.m. And you notice you've not done anything. How many people that used to occur to? That you have plans on right? It used to happen to me, forget. 
It's too stubborn to everybody, but what to keep you growing is self-discipline. It's not just about innovation. What if you get information and you are not applying it? So self-discipline and innovation, they work along with each other. As you are innovating yourself, as you are learning, as you are improving yourself, let's try to add self-discipline to it. That is the only thing that can help us to grow in our fashion line, in our business, and in marketing our products. I pray God help us. All right. Um, good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, everybody present here. The organizers, thank you so much for putting this together. Um, before I say anything, I would like to acknowledge and recognize the presence of my mommy, my mother, my sweet Perero. Because if I get a problem now, mom, see I go call you. Some people are nervous. Mommy, chop up, mommy. Two fingers in the air. Mom, mommy is a Gen Z mommy, so forget. Yeah, Professor Umemu, our one. And please, can you celebrate her? Mommy, we love you. Yeah. Unfortunately, mommy, I'm not serving in Abelkuta. I should be under you. Daniel is eating the glory. Anyways, um, and a big shout out to everyone on this panel session with me. Uh, my beautiful, sweet friend and partner in crime, DMH. And the great Olufe that I've always heard of, but it's so nice to see you in person again and again. Apparently, we are in the same church. Anyways. All right. Um, my name is Godsend Usas. And um, I'm not going to be too serious because I'm like everybody on this panel session. They are very big people. I'm a young boy, so I don't want to put pressure on anybody. So talking about innovation, I would like to come um, from the aspect that Olu Faith stopped, where she spoke about marketing. Now, like DMH also said, what are you doing differently in 2014, um, 2024, as compared to what they did in the 90s? That is simply innovation. So basically, how are you selling your market differently from the next person seated close to you? That is simply innovation. Whatever you are doing, whatever you are bringing to the table, whatever paparazzi, whatever madness you are doing, whatever thing you are doing that is selling your market is simply innovation. Now, I'm not going to sound all spiritual in this place. I'm going to try as much as possible, you know, to be honest and be sincere. There are different ways at which people innovate um, whatever they are doing. Look at real estate now. There are different ways at which people sell real estate as compared to when they sold real estate four or five years ago. Even as food vendors, there are different ways we sell our markets now as compared to how we sell our market four or five years ago. Look at so many people now. What they do, they go on Instagram, they go on TikTok, and they sell. Now, I'm only picking one niche because that's like one of the most important aspects, which is marketing. So when it comes to marketing, innovation in, in that aspect talks about how you sell your market, how you can rub your market on people's face, and people are interested, and they have no option but to buy whatever you are selling. Thank you. Thank you very much, Olufate and God sent or SAS. What they've said basically is just, she said, what Olufate said is that if you lose God, they'll leave you behind though. You'll be left like five minutes snoozing. That's the end. And God sent or SAS says, he talked about marketing. I mean, what's the essence of any business if you're not selling? You're just doing charity, giveaway. And um, so I want to move on to the next question now, which is, you know, we all say, like, you say you have to, we have to sell products. I mean, for us to sell products, for anybody to sell products, the products must be useful. Like, people must need it. Other people can waste money, but if people are wasting money, it might not, it's not sell so much because people will be like, you don't need it, especially in this our economy. So, I want to ask, like, people need to need something for us to buy it. Like, for, them, for people to buy stuff, they need to need it, right? So, how can one transform customer needs into innovations, like, you know, you, you have to know that customers need this thing. Go. You sell cakes. And like, you have to know that these people need it. They just don't know it. They need this thing. So how can we make this thing into an innovation that will actually be useful? Innovation that will sell. Please. You want to start with me? Yes, please. Like I said, this place where I sit, no pain. <laughs> so where everything does is start. Like, this is not the start for us. Sorry, by the way, before the image talks. Whosoever came and picked these three, now they find madness. Because oh. <laughs> I know especially everybody go the official. Me, I'm not the official. Okay, only faith is official. I mean, she's she's very I'm official. out. Officially, <laughs> you can see now from my look. Do I look official? Okay, we we'll try to be in between the two. People. <laughs> I beg now. Make these people take me serious more now. <laughs> these people don't know where they run for now. They don't feel they go to say I'll be better person. I be my keeper like that. Thank you. So when it was running, we used to run the Pigeon Show together on Finab Radio for about two years or so, Weekend Palava. And that was like the top 
most listened to show in this environment then. It was a pigeon show, so it was fun. So don't let us divert. How do you sell your new, your... How do you make people buy? Or? Like, how do you convert, like, what people need? You okay, how do you convert what people need? Into something innovative that they actually buy. something innovative. Okay, for example, I sell cakes. And everybody... At least, as far as I know, when I was in FUNAB, we had over 100 bakers. I have personally trained over 120 students of FUNAB to be bakers. 120, out of my over 200, about 120 years, I have a figure. About 120 were FUNABites. And as at then, when I was in FUNAB, we had over 100 bakers, apart from the ones I trained. Jigget. So everybody sells cake. But I sell cake very well and differently. How? So you could tell me that, now, this is where being creative and being inno innovative come. Everybody sells cake regularly. I could just meet you and say, I sell cake. I'll be like, oh, shall they know what leg be room me? Shall they sell cake? But by the time I am done marketing my cake, I am done rubbing my cake, and I'm, t I'm not telling you what I'm not practicing. As of last night, I was having a chat with someone I met two days ago. The person was in her sister and her brother's DM, convincing them that she has found a new baker against the one she used to use and she was sending their voice notes to me that she, they are buying from this new person no she just met me two days ago and i had her up on my story and the person started viewing and i noticed the person was viewing so i started strategical posting so i wasn't posting the regular cakes so i started posting what will make you view my status and the person was like ah Sister, I'm sorry, oh, I, th ha. I think my baker will lose one customer. I said, no, ah, it's not up to that. To me that I know what I'm doing. I posted another one. Now, what am I posting? I wasn't posting what a baker bakes. How did I come about having what a baker does not, bakes, does not bake? I'm in an, a, an environment where bakers are well saturated. I've trained a number. But the kind of cakes that I make... I'm not happy. Don't play. don't play. The kind of cakes that I make, if you don't like to eat cake, you will want to buy cake. If I post my naked cakes, the one that I did not decorate or craft, you will be hungry for cakes. In fact, about three people were fasting. They fought me. So what's the meaning of this? I say it's just cake. If that is soon coming, if that is coming, because the way I'm going to present it to you, I don't present it like just every other cake. I cut, I press. It is fluffy. It's then to your eyes. I can decide to mix it with milk for you to see. I will start telling you certain things about cakes that gives you an imaginary impression. I can say, have you? Uh, do, do you people remember the, the smell of speedy? When you now match it with Olandia milk, you now match it together, it's smooth. That's the way the whole of my room is smelling immediately I finish baking my chocolate cake. In your head, you start thinking, speedy, milk, the room is smelling, chocolate cake. So, give me one. Let me try. Now, when I bake my cake, for example, you are a MC, a MC, or an actress, she's an actress. Um, it sells pop off. Ah, this one I enjoy my craft very well it sells pop puff and you tell me that i want to bake for my brother it sells pop puff and i'm like okay no problem go and bring money when i tell you the money you are bringing ah oh no i say sure you pay i'll be you not pay he said let me do this amount because i have something and i say no problem go and bring the money you will be expecting me to deliver butter cream normally i should paste this picture and paste printed puff puff body or buy in my head we now craft frying pan with cake. And now craft puff puff. I'll craft spring grow. If you go to my page, you see his cake there. I'll craft spring grow with cake. I'm not talking about Yamayama crafts. I'll sit down, I'll sit my head down one week. I'm crafting cake. Oh, I'll craft puff puff. I'll craft, I'll craft samosa. I'll craft having dish. I'll craft him. What's this? Grill. I'll craft grilled turkey. I will now deliver. Now, between someone that has sold herself differently and somebody that has just delivered buttercream, 
and pasted the picture of Popov. Who are you buying from next? Because I would bust your bubble. I would deliver regular to you. So that way I would make you buy what you don't even need. I tell we have some people that if they are strategic enough, they will sell water to a well. I am part of those people. This person here, he is the same. Us as we make you look for small chops, you will be hungry. And not tell me say you don't do I know what I'm saying. For one year of my life, every Saturday I was using small chops, cutting him. Because the presentation is no longer like those days. The presentation is now different. You make people want your brand. You make people want what you are selling. You do it different. Intensity, think, create, stress yourself. If not, you will be in the saturated market and be selling what everybody is selling. You will now be fighting over customers. As I am, as far as Ogun State is concerned and Nigeria, I don't fight over customers. You listening. Do you understand? So that is it. The main answer is sit, think, create, do something different and hold a standard to it. Wow. Do you get hold a standard to it? This is how I want to Osas does not say certain a rap of puff. Forget there is pop off with class. Oh. No, I'm not joking. There is pop off with class. Olu Fate does not so Iran Buba Deleti. There are, there are classes. So when you see the way they do it differently, you want to was some people buy cake because they want to see what's it about Imperial go. Everybody's just shouting. Imperial, 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 Imperial. What they will buy when they hit they are stopped. I sent 10 packs of a particular type of my cake brand yesterday to Ijebu. You know what I did for the person? Person was always buying cupcakes. Inside that cupcake box, I now said, I now dropped one of that particular new product inside this cupcake. You know, messaged me yesterday. You know that one that I put inside Lilo that is inside my car? I said, I know it. He said, send me seven. He said, that's seven. Before I get to it, make it ten. Uh -uh. I said, just like that. It's only one. I just need to taste your mouth, though. I sent ten of that pack. I sold 15 of that pack yesterday. I saw ten. I mean, something I just did. So you are going to be strategic, intentional. You are going to think and stretch yourself out away from the regular. That way, you can sell to even people that don't need. Thank you. Thank you so 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 much. I heard like a lot. She said, "Think, stretch yourself. Don't just be there. Don't just be looking like beans. Don't just be doing it anyhow. You have to think out of the box." In fact, recreate the box at this point. <laughs> recreate the box. All right, so I want to direct another question to this next question to. Um, I want to direct question to Lufit. <laughs> yeah, in the fashion line, we know that the way fashion is going these days is as if fashion is taking reverse. People were. They were wearing full clothes before, started going half naked. People are wearing full clothes again. We're going back to Bostia corsets from like 200 years ago. So this question I want to ask is, uh, how do how Check. All right, thank you. The question is, how can one incorporate sustainability into the innovation process, like how do we maintain? You know, these things of like 200 years ago, some people have thought about this thing. Now, this thing makes sense now. Let's bring it back. People will like it again. How can we sustain it? Like they're doing it now. Will it, like, what's making relevance for the next 10 years, next 20 years, next 50 years? Like people keep doing this thing. Like clothes are essential. Cannot do without them. Yes. So please. Okay. Hello, everyone. So now, sustainability in everything that we are doing. Number one thing about fashion is, one thing I realize is, it's not just about watching people doing it. It's about practicalizing it. I don't know how to put it. In my, in my own field, you can't, you can't be successful without practicing. Let me just put it like that. That is why we, we see so many students coming from for hard grade. And yet, they are not upgrading. I don't know if you are getting it. Once they enter my DM like this, it's an upgrade class I'm coming from. And whereas their foundation is very poor, they cannot even draft ordinary basic, basic body blocks. I would just be like, okay, what can you do? 
okay, I've made so many things before. Uh, okay, can you send me what you've actually made before? So many people, it's, it's actually their foundation that is very bad. They don't need an upgrade. What they need is for them to, re, to restructure their foundation. And once your foundation is very poor, there is nothing you want to sustain. Because once the new things started coming out, you will not have a good structure. I don't know how to, to put it. Like, once there is not a good structure and new thing is coming out, what do you want to build on a bad structure, on a bad foundation? I want, well, I have a girl that finished from, um, I don't really know this school plant courses very well because it's plain. Uh, PBA, um, PBST. Now, Miriam is normal in Nigeria. Miriam always says something. Miriam will say, Mommy Faith, if anybody learns from you and the person is not good, fashion designing is not easy or away. I train both male and female. Once you enroll with me, okay, the first question I will ask you, do you have passion for it? Okay, I will now tell you, go and pray. Because I actually believe in prayer. Because passion with designing, we got to a stage. It will be like, she won't, she misha. Like, once the style comes out like this, even me, I will wake up, I will sleep. I will wake up. That's one thing about creativity. And it's not just about waking up. It's about doing it and doing it and doing it over and over again. Once you achieve this and you want to sustain it, you have to do it and do it again. That is what we don't want to do. Nobody wants to fail. But you have to fail before you can succeed. Do you understand what I'm trying to... Most especially, I don't know, maybe because it's fashion, but I believe K2 will be like that. So if you want to sustain anything you are doing, you have to do it and do it and practicalize it over and over and over again. That is actually what is making us different from those old people out there. You see those that are oga oga, I have them plenty. They will be claiming they are oga and there is no new thing that they are doing to prove this oga oga. Let your apprentice come again and don't let them meet you where they left you. I don't know if I'm saying the same thing. Don't let them, I was 